all praise to Yahweh, all praise, glory, and honor due to Yahweh. Yahweh is the true name for the heaven, the Father, the Almighty, the Creator of all things, the only and true power. And uh, Yahweh Shai is the name for the Son, our Savior, true name for the Son of the Heavenly Father, our Lord and Savior, who is going to save us in these times through the Spirit of in the name of Yahweh Bashem Yahushai. All right, now um, double honors to our apostles of James Graham Stone and salutations to the Akim pushing his world as sincerity and in our truth. You so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American Indians, West Indians, you are the real Israelites, you are the chosen people of the Almighty, the created the chosen people of the Almighty. All right, we were chosen to be a special people unto the Most High. But we are scattered into all of these nations for our punishment, for our reproach, for our curse, because we have transgressed the laws and, and, and statutes of the Heavenly Father. And here we are in our land, in, our, in these lands that we are scattered, still blaspheming and still idol worshipping. You know, I mean, a lot of our people still doing that, you know, except for the remnant that the Heavenly Father chose to have mercy on. Now, those people, um, that video that I just played from the brother Yashamai, um, you know, that's from his channel. You know, um, the topic the title for that video is um, Bible Biden um, warns of dark winter. All right. So this is a comment from the brother video because this just what like what he mentioned that a lot of old people, you know, I mean, um, is in the Blue Mountain, you know, believing that they farming in the Blue Mountain gonna actually save them in the time to come. In the time when the mark of the beast get implemented, which is the mark of the RFID chip, which is the, the mark of the beast, which is the RFID microchip. When that is made mandatory, they believe that farming up in the hills, you know what I mean, going to protect them. So he commented and said, we are from the Blue Mountain. And and I'm really not following him up personally. You know what I mean? He's, he, 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 he put this, this vibration is actually out there. You know what I mean? That... When you farm, if you're um, farming, I will be able to save you any time ahead. You know, what I mean, it, it it won't be that it won't be like that, man. All right. So we are from the Blue Mountain. Um, you people are wrong when you say that he's talking about the brothers. Um, you people are wrong when you say that we cannot be safe in the Blue Mountain. We are Bible people just like you, with the same energy. So don't tell the people that they can't be safe in the Blue Mountain. In the Blue Mountain is safe from the microchip. Oh, thanks. Uh, okay, thanks because we are doing. Let me let me bring this up. We are doing the same thing, just like you people doing now, and that's where you mistake. Uh, you made a big mistake because. It is obvious that we are not doing the same thing. Alright, because if we were doing the same thing, you would have known that nowhere is safe um, from the destruction that is to come. Alright, from the famine that is to come. Nowhere is safe, no one is safe. The only way you're safe is under the, is under the mighty name of Yahweh Bash and Yahushai. And obviously, you know what I mean? All of you people that are in the Blue Mountains, you Rastafarians believe in that, you know, in, in Eil Selassie. That's a vain um, hope. <laughs> That's a vain hope. That's a vain um, 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 doctrine, man. All right. So before we even go any further, we have to bring this precept up because this is the most important thing. One of the most important thing to know. All right. Deuteronomy thirty-two, verse nine, verse thirty-nine. See now that I, even I, am He, and there is no God with me. So there is no Salasi. It's because Selassie is not a God. 
Alright? Selassie himself never classified himself as a god. Alright? So there is only one true power. Alright? There is only one creator of all things. One all. This, this, this is the Almighty. This is a, there is no other God beside him, man. This is what he's saying. There is no God with him. I kill and I make a life. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. And you have to know that the one that is bringing this famine is the, the Almighty. So this is it. This is um Second Ezra. Let me get Second Ezra um two fifteen verse five. Let me get from start from verse four. Um, verse three. Start of verse three. Fear not the imaginations against thee. Let not the incredul incredulity of them um trouble of them trouble thee that speak against thee. And that's talking about the prophets of the Holy Father because right now you're speaking against. What the, the, the truth basically and whosoever believe that what the brother is saying that you know the mountains won't help you and farming won't help you is speaking against the truth because that's all faith what we believe we believe what the most says is gonna is gonna come to pass that everybody there's, there's gonna be a great famine in the land for all the unfaithful shall die in their unfaithfulness why because they didn't believe in Yahweh Hashem Yahushai behold Say to how I will bring plagues upon the world, the sword, famine, death, and destruction. So who's bringing the famine? Yahweh, the Almighty, the Creator of all things. See? Why? For wickedness hath exceedingly polluted the whole earth, and their earthful works are fulfilled. One of the wicked works that is um, that has polluted the whole earth is this idolatry, this continuous blaspheming and forsaking of the Almighty, Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Yahweh. Alright? And and um idolize having idols like Selassie. Because you're still there up here up there in the blue mountain. Um and even in the time of trouble you still believe in that Selassie is the one that gonna come with chariots of fire and burn up whosoever forget burn up. Which that is a lie because Selassie is not a god. Selassie is a dead man. No and even for Christians, man, all right, there is no, there is no Jesus Christ coming to save you, all right. No, um, yeah, it's a for wickedness are exceedingly polluted world earth, and your outward works are fulfilled. So you up there believing that you, your farming gonna protect you. This is what the scripture said, all right. This is um Second Ezra uh, fifteen. You jump to verse fifty seven. Thy children shall die of hunger. So even your children up there are gonna die of hunger. And thou shalt fight and thou shalt fall through the sword. Thy cities shall be broken down. So whatsoever house and even the cities, literally in the Kingston, the Spanish, too, all your cities are gonna be broken down. And all thine shall perish with the sword in the field. So even in the field. One thing that the brother then mentioned that you forget is that you forgot that people are gonna come. You in, <laughs> you're inviting openly people to come and um, to your location when that time comes. You don't have enough to fight to feed the amount of people that is coming for your food. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger. So Blue Mountain won't save you. Scripture said, I mean, let me tell you who is going to say it. Scripture said, Blessed is the man who is trust, who make the Lord his trust, man. Roughly paraphrasing. So, our trust is in Yahweh. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, the righteous run it into it and is safe. The name of the Lord is what? Yahweh, not Selassie, not Jehovah, not Yahweh. Alright? They that read that again. For all you people that believe the mountains and farming gonna save you. They that be in the mountains shall die of hunger and eat their own flesh. So even your children, you're gonna eat and your own arm and drink their own blood for, ve for very hunger of bread. There'll be no food. Alright? And thirst of water. See? 
So the land gonna be gonna perish, man. The land not gonna be able to bring forth any form of food. They're gonna be dry lands, man. Alright, this is um there'll be no water, there'll be no all the springs gonna dry up, man. This is um Isaiah 4 verse 3. Therefore shall the land mourn. The land, it's literally gonna mourn. And the people in the land gonna mourn. Alright? They're gonna be all they're gonna be suffering, man. And um they're gonna be hunger pains, there gonna be disease outbreak. Alright? And everyone that dwelleth therein shall languish. With the word languish means severe pain. Alright? And one of those one of the thing, the main thing that gonna cause that, that languish or those severe pains is, is famine. With the beast of the field and the, even the beast of the field, alright, gonna languish. And with the foes of heaven, yea, the fishes of the sea also shall be taken away. So the most are gonna take away all things, man. He said it in Isaiah, in a, in a, in a, like a Zephaniah um, 1. Let me see if I can pull it up quick. Let me see if I can pull it up quickly for the archives. Um, Zephaniah 1, verse 2. I will utterly consume all things from off the land, saith the Lord, saith how? I will consume man and beast. I will consume the fowls of heaven. There will be no bird to shoot. Alright? And the fishes of the sea. You know, no fishing. And the stumbling blocks uh, with the wicked. And I will cut off man from off the land, saith the Lord. And one of the way, oh, one of the way, oh, man going to be cut off from off the land is to... Um, men spoiling each other, you know what I mean, for, for the lack of bread. Because when a man come for your food, he might come to take your life because with the mindset that you're going to try to defend the food and he might, he might go kill you, he might try to kill you, man. <laughs> so men are going to fight. Uh, that second Ezra 15 chapter full, um, fulfilled are going to be fulfilled um, in its perfect um, sense, man. And this, this preset that the brother that you see running on the screen in Ezekiel 7 and 15. Let me, let me, let me bring it up. Ezekiel 7 and 15. Ah, let me just read it from it. It says, Ezekiel 7 and 15. The sword is without, alright, and the pestilence and the famine and the famine within <laughs> he that is in the field shall die with the sword man all right and he that is in the city famine and the pestilence shall devour him all right plain and to the point there is no escape all right there is no escape only through Yahweh Hashem not in Selassie, not in Jehovah, not in Buddha, not in uh, Mecca. None other than Yahweh, but Asham Yahweh Shai. Alright, he is the one that's going to feed his elect. He is the one that's that going to feed his servants. And that's it. Only his servants going to eat. Only his servants going to drink. And who are the servants of Yahweh, but Asham Yahweh Shai? Of the true and living God? <laughs> not you up there in the blue mountains, not you people in Christianity, not you people are um, worshiping Mecca, not you people. The, the only ones that are going to be saved are the believers in Yahweh Basha the true servant of Yahweh, servants of Yahweh Basha Yahushua. Alright? So, it's uh, because it, this is the reason why I'm going to destroy you people because wickedness has exceedingly polluted the water. So, hey, I hope this video was edifying, man. Um, until next time, shalom, my camera. Just a uh, salakin shalom.